Hi, my name is Craig Salvati, and I'm a member of the XLP project team working on sustainability and G-Aviation. Today I'm joined with Guran Andak, engineering leader for aviation fuels and additives. Today, Guran and I are going to talk about sustainable aviation fuels, why it's important to the aviation industry sustainability efforts, and what that means for G-Aviation. Guran, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. When you talk about sustainable aviation fuels, what are they? And why are they so important? Sustainable aviation fuel, in short, SAF, is jet fuel. It's jet A, it's jet A1. It's the same kerosene and product that we've been burning in our engines for decades, really. It's just uh, partially synthetically derived and from alternative renewable sources and in a sustainable manner as opposed to conventional jet A, jet A1. Um, SAF can start from various feedstocks. Uh, it could be oils from plants and algae, um, greases, fats, waste streams, alcohols, sugars, but ends up being the same hydrocarbon kerosene that we know as jet fuel. Now, it is sustainable in the sense that it can be continually uh, resourced uh, in a manner that is consistent with economic, social, and environmental goals. Uh, something that conserves, um, if you will, an ecological balance by avoiding depletion of natural resources and mitigates contribution to climate change. The use of SAF can lower the carbon footprint uh, compared to conventional jet fuel and therefore it, is, it really has a vital role in meeting industries, environmental, and sustainability goals. Thanks. So with all of that information, where does GE Aviation play in this space? Uh, yeah, our main role in the development of SAF is uh, the evaluation and qualification of SAF. We need to make sure that a candidate SAF is indeed equivalent to Jet A, Jet A1 and that uh, there would be no adverse impact on engine operation and performance with the use of it. So we are very engaged and active in uh, generating and evaluating data in support of the qualification of SAF. We uh, evaluate the properties of SAF, uh, we do evaluate the performance of SAF uh, by conducting engine component level testing, engine system level testing um, at Peebles, Evendale, and Lynn test facilities. Can GE's commercial engines use sustainable aviation fuels? Yeah, we test candidate SAF fuels extensively. All our engines have already been certified to Jet A, Jet A1. Mm -hmm. um, and SAF being JDA, JDA1, it does not require recertification of our engine products and it can be used in all of them. So with all that information, why isn't SAF being utilized everywhere today? <laughs> um, well, in about a decade, if you think about it, we established, developed and established really a um, SAF fuel specification, a robust SAF evaluation protocol. Mm -hmm. uh, we approved seven SAF production pathways um, and we have actually about a quarter million revenue flights with SAF already in aviation. So that's good progress. Um, but still, SAF availability is limited currently. Uh, the current production is only a fraction of a percent um, of the global jet fuel demand. Okay. Uh, however, the facilities are coming online and the projection, projections are such that about 2% replacement of conventional jet fuel with SAF by 2025 is possible. The cost is still the challenge, but um, there are mechanisms and incentives and policies and regulations in place and more coming that will help SAF used to become more economically viable for the operators.